Let's see how to use shapes on a whiteboard in Zoom. This tool can be found on the toolbar on the left and by clicking on this icon here. When you click on it, you will see what shapes can be created. Let's use the following workflow as an example. When I click on the shapes tool, you can see the four shapes that can be created. A rectangle, ellipse or circle, diamond, and a triangle. I will choose the circle shape and choose the color by clicking on this icon here. As you can see, by hovering over the whiteboard, a preview of the shape appears. In this example, I'm going to place it here on the top. Now I'm going to choose a rectangle and a yellow color. Let's add another rectangle with a different color, a blue one. Finally, I'm going to create a red diamond. Let's see how to modify these shapes. When I click on the shape, you can see a menu and a blue square with anchor points. When I hover the mouse inside the shape, you can see a cross which lets you move the shape wherever you want. By clicking on one of the anchor points, you can resize the shape. In the menu below, you can choose how the shape will appear. Build, transparent, or an outline. Or if you want, you can choose a different shape. When you click on these three dots, you can copy, paste, duplicate, and as explained later, select other options to reposition the shapes. Now let's see how to duplicate. You can do this by selecting the duplicate option. You can also use a keyboard shortcut, Ctrl plus D in Windows, or Command plus D in Mac. Now I will move to the bottom here. I'm going to change these circles to transparent mode. Now I'm going to repeat this same process. In the case of the diamond, I will just change it to transparent mode. When you double click on a shape, you will see that your cursor is ready to start writing a comment. Also, you can see a menu that allows you to style your text. You can choose the kind of lettering you want, bold, italic, and underline. You can also select the kind of alignment you need, left, center, or right. Next, you can establish the font size and in the circle, the font color. I will repeat the same process for the rest of the shapes. If you have several shapes that you want to appear one after another or vice versa, use the functions of bring forward, bring to front, send backward, and send to back. Now I'm going to create some shapes and change their positions using the functions we just described. Without a doubt, this is a very interesting feature when positioning your shapes. You can also erase any shape you have created by clicking on the eraser icon here and then clicking on the shapes you want to erase. You can also change a mistake you made by clicking on the undo and redo icons here. Each time you click the undo icon, the last thing you made will be erased. You can undo up to three times. If you change your mind, you can click on the redo icon here and the thing you erase will reappear. We are sure that the Shapes tool will make your meetings or Zoom presentations more attractive and interesting. Burn to Learn is working to help you understand the changes in technology as they happen. Stay in the know. Subscribe today.